So what you're going to do is, I already have it installed. We're going to head over to Downloader. Press, go to the search bar, press OK. And now you're going to type in the following. Double check your spelling. You gotta type it exactly as shown. Then press go. If you did it correctly, the download should start automatically. Okay, once it's finished downloading, you're gonna get this page, just head over to install. Okay, once it's finished installing, I already have it. Go over here, hit delete, just freeze up the space on your uh, Fire Stick. Then delete again. Now we're gonna hit the home button on the remote. Mine is here, but yours is gonna be on the, your apps and games. So what you do is just head over to the bottom and yours should be one of these at the bottom. If you wanna move it, all you gotta do is press and hold and now you're able to move it wherever you like. And press okay to lock it in. Okay, so now we're gonna open it up. Okay, so once you get this page, hit the menu. That's the three dashes on your remote settings press ok so here's your settings so what we're going to do is we're going to go to profile first add a profile profile name if you click on it this part here all all it really is is just the name whatever you want to call uh, easy to do a search especially if you have multiple service uh, servers uh, it's good to name them all so you know which one uh, you want to use just press ok then it gives you the option to go in it I'm just gonna leave it as a new profile just for this tutorial the portal settings this is the probably the most important part in the whole setup the portal URL press ok and here you're gonna type in what your service provider gives you. So the, when you order your IPTV subscription, it comes with a portal URL and this is where you're going to enter it. So all you do is just press OK. Then what I would like to do is I would just delete it all the way to the forward slash. And now type in the URL that your service provider gave you. Okay, so in this page, that's pretty much all you need to do here. 
So now we're going to hit the return key. Now the STB configuration. Press OK. STB model. What I like to do is I like to go all the way down and I like to use the 324. Any other version after that, uh, you will create some issues. You're going to get um, you get a message on screen like uh, please update your firmware and stuff like that. Uh, just go to the mag 324. Firmware, we're not going to touch it. Screen resolution, we're going to leave it as is. The MAC address. So the MAC address is what you're going to give to your service provider. Especially if you're using this program for your IP TV subscription, they're going to ask you for this MAC address. This is the part you're going to give to them. And the one thing is you do not share this with anybody. Serial number, what I like to do is delete it. Once you clear it, just hit next, press OK. With my experience, I get less buffering, um, no issues. Everything loads a lot quicker without the serial number. And that's it for that part. Now we'll go down to uh, media player settings. Then first option, media player. Press OK. By default, it goes to EXO. From my experience, the LJK works the best. So I'll check mark that. A lot of people use auto. Um, it doesn't work with all servers. So just uh, check LJK. Then hit the return key. So event settings, uh, I wouldn't go in there. So really, it's these two sections right here. So once you finish entering your information here, now we're going to hit the return key. So there's a profile right there. We're going to hit the return key one more time. And there's one section over here. And I had a few people ask me that they want to use the box strictly for their IPTV subscription. So in order to do this, if you go all the way to the top, common settings, now, if we scroll down, uh, right here, auto start on device boot up. So this here, if you want to use your box strictly for the IPTV, it's a good option. So what do you do is you check mark this. Every time your box turns on, automatically it'll just load right to the STBM later. So all you got to do is just check mark that and it'll do the auto boot. Okay, so once you finish that, now we exit to this page. Now we're going to hit the menu button on the remote. And we're going to head down to exit. Now we're just going to exit out of there. Wait a few seconds. Now we enter back in. And if you did everything correctly, it should start the portal. You should get your loading bar. Just give it a few seconds. And there you go. So there's the bar right now. And there you go. So that's all to it. So guys, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Please hit that subscribe button, support my channel. And once again, thanks for watching.